Hey guys, it's MacLover65 and I have my May favorites for you guys. This is probably going to be up late because I always somehow get this up late all of the time. So just keep watching this video to see my May favorites. We're just going to go ahead and start. For my face, I've been using, haven't really been using any cleanser except really this product right here. And it is my Clarisonic Mia. And I absolutely love this. It's hot pink. It feels a lot cleaner. Uh, like it did break me out at first when I started using it. I was like, okay, I had no breakouts to start with. And now it's breaking me out, but really what it did was bring all of the dirt and nasty stuff to the surface. Kept my face very, very clean, very shiny, and very fresh feeling. I feel like it's evened up my complexion, and I love the face uh, scrub that comes with it. And it's just amazing. I love this. Use it morning and night in my hair. I have not switched my shampoos. Again, I switch my shampoos about every two weeks. That's probably why. But I find out that I have more um, shampoo favorites all the time, and I want to tell you guys about them. So... Um, I love my Bedhead TGI Express Volume uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. This is con the conditioner, but it seriously gives my hair extreme volume, makes my ends look fabulous, gives my hair great shine, and is amazing, plus smells like strawberries. Who doesn't want to smell like strawberries? I don't know. I want to smell like strawberries, though. So I love this. Oh, my gosh. I can smell through the bottle. It smells so good. But my hair just, like, feels shiny, and I washed it, like, three days ago and that still looks really good. My hair gets oily really fast so that's really good. I mean my hair's still really shiny. I did tease it so there's hairspray in it like a ton but my favorite perfume that I've been wearing a ton this month this is just the baby size. I need to go get a full size of it but it's my Ed Hardy um, perfume and it's the Love Kills Slowly one. I don't know which one this is but it's a pink bottle and it is amazing. And for Tanner this month, since it is coming up to be summer, I've been using this like a ton. And it's my Honey Bronze Shimmering Dry Oil. I love this stuff. I can't say enough. I love this stuff. It's amazing. Okay, so for my two favorite liners, I've been using my Giorgio Armani um, Master Eye Liner number one, and it's black. I love this stuff. It takes literally like 10 seconds for me to do my eyeliner now. And I'm wearing it today. As you can see, it looks pretty cool I think but I love this stuff it's amazing stays on all day or to tight line my eyes I use my makeup forever aqua eyes professional pencil it's waterproof it's amazing I love it I'm obsessed my favorite yeah. primer of course is Benefit Stay Down Stray I can't say enough good things about it my favorite like funky eyeliners to do right now are like glitter eyeliners and then like have a bright eyeliner underneath or something I usually put this over my black eyeliner kind of thing but I really started using like colors and stuff because that's pretty in right now I noticed in Teen Vogue, Seventeen Magazine, the bright bold eyeliners are in these are from NYX, they're amazing, very pigmented I have this in a look that I will I already have posted and I love this, it lasts all day, it's amazing, go buy these they're mascaras, nice. I have my Lancome Hypnosis Drama love this, can't say enough good things about it, this isn't a video I do an extensive review on it, go check it out um, also my primer, these two together are just unstoppable. I love them. Um, my Lash Genius Mascara is perfect. It turns any mascara waterproof. I love it. It actually curls your lashes as well and actually helps with false lashes too. So go try this out. It was $28 at Sephora and I now cannot live without this. Um, my favorite false lashes are from MAC and they are the number fours. I wear these actually on a regular basis. Um, I love them to death. And I also have my favorite jumbo pencil from uh, NYX is Milk. And I use this as a base. I actually put it on today and I love it. It just really brightens up your eyeshadow. And really, I have two favorite palettes that I've been using. My first one is my uh, Urban Decay one that I created. It has Walk of Shame, Sin, uh, Half Baked, Smog, but I forgot the other one. And Snake Bite, I think, or something like that. I don't know. It looks like this. I love this palette. I've been using it a ton. I am obsessed with these shadows and I really want to get more of them. The formula is amazing, so go try it out. They are just, I just love it. The palette itself looks really, really cool. It's, you know, really nice and I love it. I could fit, but I literally wore this for two weeks straight. That's saying something because I normally don't wear the same eyeshadow on a regular basis. I wore this today and I've actually, actually never used this before. Um, I did last year. And when I used it, I was really into wearing dark eye makeup. And now I've kind of gotten into wearing eye makeup that complements my eyes, really showing off my eyes instead of showing the eye makeup. The Too Faced In Your Dreams palette. I also have the bigger palette version of this. But I just used this one today, and I loved it. And the look that I did was the Natural Beauty one right here. 
and I love it. It comes with this, and it really, literally you have your eyeshadows, your blush, and your lip gloss. I use this look today, and I love it. I've also done the Feminine Flirty one, and I love that one, too. So, yeah, this thing is amazing. I really, really like it, and I'm so glad. That. Okay, now for my face makeup, I have two foundations. The first one's for when I'm when I'm tan, when I spray tan, and I cheat. But it's my Laura Mercier um, Blush Ivory. I cannot say enough good things about this. It gives you a flawless photo. So, yeah, that's my foundation when I'm tan. And when I'm not tan, I just recently picked this up, like, three weeks ago. And I love this stuff. It's the Giorgi Armani uh, Foundation in number four, I think. But it's amazing. I love this stuff. I'm wearing it today, and I can, I've can i never been able to find a foundation that actually matches my skin tone. I have pink un, pink undertones, not yellow, and that is my problem with most foundations. But I love this stuff. Go check it out. It's amazing. The primer that I use for it is my Giorgi Armani Fluid Master Primer. It actually makes your foundation stay on longer. Um, it like literally makes your foundation adhere to this primer, and it's better than any other primer that I've ever tried. It's kind of like the Bare Minerals feeling one, but it's better. My concealers, I've been using my MAC one, of course, when I'm tan, and I love this. I, I love this concealer. It lasts all day, doesn't smudge, and I just adore it. Um, but for my concealers for when I'm not tan, um, I use my Georgie Armani one, and it's number three. And then I also have number one, which this is just to brighten up your, under your eyes, get rid of dark circles, and it's pink. As you can see, it's like a salmon color, just to get rid of like the darkness and kind of lighten up your eyes. And then I use this one as my concealer, and I love it. The brush is very small, and it feels amazing. I really want to try the Play to Poe concealer, but I just can't bring myself to spending $78 on a concealer. I might just have to like bite the bullet and try it, but as of right now, I just I just can't reason with money one. And it literally has like funky reflex. If you can see that, that's what it looks like. And like see how it like reflex like purple and stuff. That's what it looks like on your face. And it looks really cool. Um, of course for my brows, I've been using my clear brow gel from Anastasia. And I love this stuff. I use it all the time. It's like hairspray for your eyebrows. For um, my setting powder, instead of using actual powder, I use blotting powder to mattify my face. I almost dropped it, but I caught it. Yes. Um, but I use this also during the day to kind of mattify my face and not make my face look oily. And I love this stuff. Bronzers. I have my Max Surf Baby Bronzer for when I'm tan. It's like the perfect color. Even when I'm not tan, it's pretty good too. It's a little orange though. And for when I'm not tan, I use my Georgie Armani one in a number five. And it looks like this. And it's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't even look like anything. But for a person that's not tan, that is being tan right there. I have to be very careful with my bronzers because they make me orange. For my blush, I have a ton of blushes. So we're going to have to speed through this. My favorite, I have two favorite cream blushes. One is Florida from MAC and it's like this hot, hot pink. Excuse the brush hairs in it. My brush hairs fell out in that. It's um, called Cactus Flower by NARS and it's just the perfect like reddish colored blush. It doesn't come up this bright but it gives you just this nice healthy glow and if you can see those gold reflexes in it, it's gorgeous on your face. I love uh, putting this blush over Florida, and it's Desire from NARS. And it's literally like this hot pink. It has like blue undertones, but it's gorgeous on, especially when you're tan. I use these two colors when I'm tan. What I'm using a lot is called Dolly Mix, and this I just use when I'm not tan. But I love it. It's gorgeous. And yeah. And then I've used Pink Swoon. And I love this as well. I've been really into pink blushes lately. Oops, I dropped it, but it landed on paper. What killed what, my luck? Um, now, for my lips, I have been loving these uh, four products. Well, more than that, but um, the first lipstick is Angel from MAC. And look at that. That's, I think this is Angel. Yeah, it is. Um, I really like the color Angel. I love the color Snob, but I can't find that lipstick. And I'm like obsessing over it because now I can't find it. And I was obsessed with it, but now I can't. It's frustrating. Uh, pink. Nova, which is this one right here, I've loved too. I love it. That's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous hot pink. Hot Gossip I love, but it's in my car and I don't feel like going and getting it. And I've been obsessed with this one. This is Love Alert. But not only just this Dazzle Glass, I've been really getting back into my Dazzle Glass. It's very, very, very obsessed with this lately. It's the YSL number no. 4 lipstick. And it's the uh, Volup Sheer Candy lipstick. I have it on right now. But I love the glossy feeling of it, and I love the color, and I really want to go get more. The packaging is gorgeous. The price is a little ridiculous, but I love it. Look how, like, glossy that is. So glossy, and the color is gorgeous. Like, 
that's what it comes up and it's super glossy. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like the video, please subscribe, and leave a comment down. Also, go follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic day, guys. Bye!